This is a quick and to the point video on how to upgrade the firmware on your RetroTINK 5X Pro. Warning, updating the firmware will change all the settings back to their default values and remove any profiles you have created. Another warning, updating the firmware removes the ability for you to use the buttons on the unit itself to navigate the menus. You'll have to use the remote control going forward. To do this process, you need a computer. The first step is to download some drivers. I'll put a link to them in the description. As soon as you click the link, the download process will start. If you're in Chrome, you'll see it downloading on the bottom left. When it's done, click it and then double click the file. Then follow all the prompts until you get it installed. Next, you'll need to download the firmware tool, which is also linked in the description. When it's done downloading, click on it. And in the folder, you'll see two files. Double click the one called RT underscore FWUP follow the prompts to get it installed. Then go to RetroTank.com and find the latest firmware update. At the time of this video, it can be found in the blog section of that site. Look for the blog called RetroTank 5X Pro Firmware Updates and you'll see a download link. When it's done downloading, click into it. The folder will have a hex file sitting in it and it'll be zipped so you'll have to extract it. One way to do that is to click extract all which appears at the top of the folder and then you'll need to specify somewhere to put the file. Make sure you remember where you put it. Take the unit and hold down the menu button and at the same time connect it to the computer with the USB cord. Then let go of the button. If you did it right, a red light will come on. If it's any other color, unplug it and try again. On your desktop, you will see a RetroTank firmware icon. Open it. Click on the load hex button. Pick the location where you saved that hex file. Click the flash button. There will be a readout showing the progress, which will give the impression that it's stuck, but it's not. You have to wait until you get a pop-up message saying it's done, which may take several minutes. When it is done, the retro tank will do a short restart and the light will turn blue. And you're all done. Have a good day, everybody.